Littleton is getting ready. This is about 300 pumpkins. For a jack-o'-lantern display that promises to illuminate the town. They're all very cool lit up at night. David Harkless came up with the idea six years ago. I thought, oh, it'd be really neat to have a bunch of pumpkins out here. Over 500 right in the middle of the Amanusik River. A lot of people do the carving so the kids go to all the carving parties and stuff like that and then they come down and they're trying to find their pumpkins out here on the rocks. Every year it draws thousands of people from near and far. It's become an economic driver for our town. The gathering of the jack-o'-lanterns is just one part of a weekend featuring all things Halloween. There's trick-or-treating on Main Street for the kids. Uh, which is awesome, like 300 kids coming down Main Street in their costumes. And the town's Parks and Rec Department has already begun its own spooky preparations. We put up black plastic, uh, make a little maze to walk through. We'll have the smoke flying and uh, the ghosts howling, and we got music playing, so it's going to be a scary scene. Parkless says it's Littleton's day. largest weekend, weekend celebration. It's, it's a very big event. And one that he says showcases his vibrant, tight-knit community. I love it. I mean, I'm very involved uh, in this town. I you know, do lots of things, and this is just one of the things I do, and I, I just love to see it happen. Littleton's my town. In Littleton, Helena Batapaglia, NBC 5 News.